Uh, good morning. My name is Chris Gregory. I'm from Heartland Horseshoe School in Lamar, Missouri. And uh, I'm here to talk a little bit about Camp Cowboy. It's the brainchild of a good friend of mine, Scott Robinson from Robinson Ranch. Uh, Scott and I went to high school together at New Mexico Military Institute back in the golden years of the 80s. And uh, Scott's a war hero and a veteran. And he got out and he said, you know, we gotta, we got to create something that's going to help veterans and we can do it with a horse. So he, he produced this place called Camp Cowboy. And he's allowing veterans to come and join up with a horse and, and learn how to become a cowboy in one sense, but also how to deal with the world that they're finding themselves in after being to war. So the camp director is Tony Cole. Tony Cole is also a veteran, a Purple Heart recipient, as well as a very, very good horseman. So Tony Cole brings the soldiers in and gives them the experience of becoming a cowboy and he's able to deal with them from the experience of being a, a wounded veteran. So uh, if you need a place to go, if you need a place to call a new home as a, as a veteran, uh, you should look into Camp Cowboy. Tony Cole here, director of Camp Cowboy. Beautiful day here at the Robinson Ranch with students and horses. In 2005, I was uh, unfortunately hit by a, a improvised explosive device in Iraq. And, I came home from, from war and could no longer be in the Army and stuff, and, and I really kind of got lost for a minute, and I had a mentor of mine named Scott Shuley. He always used to tell me to keep my feet moving. I didn't really understand at first, but since then I have kept my feet moving, and eventually that led to uh, uh, me becoming the director of Camp Cowboy, and, and uh, now we get to keep a, a lot of veterans' feet moving, and it's an important thing to do. Uh, it really, really is. We began this program two years ago to, to work with uh, veterans coming out of combat and kind of help them just like my, I did when I came home from combat, deal with some of the issues that they might be experiencing. And we have, uh, we've enjoyed the success and seen several classes come through. And, and uh, some of the people that you're gonna be seeing today and in this video are some of the uh, highlights of some of the really, really nice, uh, nice things that we've been able to see and uh, nice horses, nice people that um, have come together and, and made a true connection. And, it's kind of what we're all about here at Camp Cowboy. And, uh, not only do we do the horse work, but it also provides a social connection point to where people can come and get be together with other veterans and other people like them um, three, four times a week, you know, and, and uh, get them a chance to have something to do, something to look forward to each week. So we're very, very proud of it. Uh, we're very proud of it, and we're, uh, we're going to continue to do the work, and I hope you enjoy the video. Robinson. Uh, I've lived here on Robinson Ranch for I don't know, 14 years or so. You know, this this Camp Cowboy program it kind of been a long time thing in the running. As we um, you know started the official Camp Cowboy here in this last fall, our, probably our biggest things is you know we don't we don't really talk about it an awful lot. You, know, you don't think about a problem unless you're talking about it. You know, it's not on your mind as much, and horses are a great way to do that because you know a lot of the, a lot of these vets you know they may have have a problem and they really have to come out of their shell and you know get past their problems to make any many headway with a horse no matter what they're doing whether it's groundwork or whether it's up in the saddle or picking out their hooves or brushing them off you know they make a special connection with the horse hey i'm kyle this is a uh, dreamer um we've been coming out to the ranch for quite a while now um part of the reason is uh we want to have a, a real good impact on what horsemanship and horse work does for veterans when they when they come back from combat or you know any any kind of bad experience and uh, I personally believe that um, with horse work um, it, it helps out a lot with uh, with veterans that are struggling with you know anger issues uh, connecting with people uh, really just connecting with anything getting out of the house um, these guys they're amazing and in, um, in what they do and and how they help us. Um, I know myself, I had uh, several issues where um, I'd go into lulls and, and have hard times and you know, my wife would always tell me uh, I need to find something to uh, help me engage with the family mostly because um, I was withdrawn from everybody, wife, kids, all of it. Um, 
And once I got into this work, these, these guys really helped me open that part of my life up. Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade what I'm doing here for anything. Neither would he. My name is uh, Jeffrey Harriman. Uh, I'm a veteran of the United States Army of 12 years. And this is Sarge. He's a four-year-old horse. He's uh, pretty young. Um, what I think it can do for veterans, you know, that go through it and when they come out, is that uh, it gives them a sense of normalcy. Um, being around the horses, uh, they're not angry. They're not. They don't feel sad all the time. And, you know, they're they're very calm animals. Uh, so it kind of rubs off on you, and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, it's done a lot for me. It helps me out with my family a lot too, with the calming down. I'm not so angry all the time. Not so irritable. Uh, and for like the other veterans, I feel like I can do the same thing for them. Hi, I'm Leah Murphy. This is my horse, Cinnamon. I am actually a military wife, and I have found this extremely therapeutic. Horses are amazing at helping people with any of their issues, and Cowboy is here to offer any help that's needed. So, yes, I think it's wonderful for everyone, anyone who needs it. Hi, my name is Jessica Daring, and this is my horse, Breeze, and she is a nine-year-old BLM Mustang mare. I just recently got out of the Army. I spent the last three years of my service in the horse detachment at Fort Hood, where I learned to ride, and we did mounted shooting and mounted sabers and jumping. And I think horses help us keep our feet moving, in a way, by they need us. They, we, they need to be fed twice a day, they need to be brushed, they need their feet taken care of, and if you don't do it, you know, they're going to suffer, and they're completely dependent upon you, and even if you're having a bad day and you go out into that paddock and you, you may think like, oh, I don't have time to work my horses today, or I just, I don't have time for this, and I'm not in the mood, and you go out there and this 1,200 pound flight animal comes up and puts their head on your chest and wants some love and affection. It, it changes your whole day and it kind of keeps you going and realizes that it's not just about you, like this big animal is, is at your mercy and could easily hurt you but chooses not to. And I think that helps keep, I know it's kept me going a lot of times when I just kind of felt like I didn't want to do anything. And seeing them and knowing that they need me really it helps keep you going and once you're out there and you start messing with them then you, you don't want to stop and you get relaxed and happy and and it just kind of perpetuates the whole cycle. Huh. Hi this is Anna Di Stefano and this is my horse Sue. She's my three years old. I did all the training on her. I'm very proud she's doing great. Why we use horses because they are our best friends and we learn to deal with life with them because they teach us to respect and love. And they make us to feel better about ourselves. So I really recommend to everybody going through hard time in their life, especially veterans, soldiers, family member in the army, they're going through a lot too. I suggest to come and try this camp. Hi, I'm Linda Lackey. This is my teenage son's horse, Roy. We do count cowboy three days a week for three hours a day. It's a time commitment for not only Tony Cole, who's heading us up, but all the student instructors as well. But it's worth it to us because we are seeing incredible, incredible results with these students and with their horses. And it's exactly why we started this program and what we hope to achieve. We're reaching veterans that maybe they weren't getting good results with medication and counseling. And this is a different outlook, a different way for them to be just a normal, regular guy or girl with a horse. And there's nothing more healing or satisfactory then bonding with your horse, learning together and accomplishing the, the greatness you knew you had.